Hello everyone, Billy12510 back for more. Let's play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Last time we did chapter 10. Now we're going to hell. I mean, chapter 11, Blood Runs Red. So, if that wasn't a. Bleh, if that wasn't any indication, I hate this chapter! Well, we're here. Welcome to Toa. Crime is westernmost port city. What's with this place? The people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dayan? About the war? Because this area is fairly isolated. Dayan's army hasn't come this far, so well, life goes on as before. Dayan's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea of what's happening. Ignorance is a form of bliss, isn't it? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dayan have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet even I know this peace won't last. When we met Dane forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us just for being within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore any misfortune which doesn't befall them directly. They can, and often do, turn a blind eye to all manner of wickedness so long as it doesn't touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves. And then they will cast their eyes toward heaven in thanks while their neighbors lay dying around them. Wow! That's a profound statement! And one that I actually believe, too! Sad but true. Welcome to America, kitties. Anyway, war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the day an army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will then understand. And the peace they take for granted is shattered and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets. Perhaps then will they comprehend the misfortunes they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. My goodness, the nastier the truth, the blunter he gets. Quite a, delight yeah, quite a delightful staff officer you have there. He has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but this? Something's bothering him, that's for sure. To be expected, even I'm a bit shocked by this place. How can they truly be as placid as they appear? Soren's a very empathetic young man. The emotions of this place may have proven to be too much for him. Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it. Fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Perhaps those who never noticed the difference are the ones we should envy. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Well, I was just talking to myself. Don't care about me. Hmm. Now I've got to see a man about a ship. Well, I'm gone. Why don't you get your supplies squared away? I'm not... Oh, yeah. I'm certain the journey ahead will require a lot of packing. Anyway. I'm going to be at sea for months, even though it won't take long at all, because this is a video game. Although, if I upload of this game, maybe it will! I haven't even uploaded the last chapter we did! And this is getting recorded. Yay! I haven't even edited them! Man, I'm bad. She doesn't want a solitary lagoon wandering around the York City. Crime and Gallia are, are allied nations, but it's in reality only applying to the to nobility. Because King, that's what King Ganega said too. Citizens, citizenry doesn't really give a crap. It really doesn't. Hunts and Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got connections. See, it's not like I'll be roaming the docks begging for passage. Don't mess anything up. Oh boy, now it's space time. Oh wait, no, it's not. Summary first. Now it's space time. No casualties, no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. 
So, what do we got for support and stuff? Uh, more of the same, unfortunately. Um, let's go into the outfit. I haven't touched this game in a while. Oh well. Um, well, I'll just put all this stuff that you don't need in here. Um, I need to get you another heal staff. Put these away, because I won't need those. Anything else? I can get rid of this. And just get him a new one at the shop. Doopy doopy doo. I love it when I'm right. Anyway, uh, the only reason I am showing any of this off is because we've got units to talk about. Starting with this guy. Here's Brom. I'm sorry. Here's Braum. If you're walking in here thinking Braum is a replacement Gatry, you aren't too far off in thinking that way. His faces are not that great compared to Gatry, but his growth rates are on average with Gatry. They're slightly lower. The problem with Braum is you were probably using Gotri in the first part of the game, and by the time you get Braum, you regain Gotri pretty soon after this chapter. Spoiler alert, by the way. But you do get him back, and it's not that long after this chapter we're about to do, so... It's really hard to try and use Braum. I've tried and I've given up because I always end up getting Gotri and I end up using him anyway. Which is what I'm gonna do, by the way. Uh, after him, we got Kieran! Yes! Arguably the best Cavalier in the entire game. That's. Arguable. You can argue that. I argue that. Yeah. He's got some. Like, here's Oscar. He's level 14. He's Kieran. Or, here's Kieran. He's level 12. Yeah. Kieran's better. He's got. His groves, for most part, are better than Oscar's. And... Like I said, he's got the skill Gamble, which is pretty bad. Which I think we got? No, we didn't get that in the last chapter. After that was Counter. But Kieran is a very yes. I'm definitely using Kieran. Which means I should give you some axes. Boop, boop, boop. Why not? And then there's Nephany. Get over here. Nephany is a soldier. She may as well be a mercenary in this game sense. Because the mercenary units you got in the GBA games were some of the best units you got in the GBA games. And Nephany is one of the best units you will get in this game. Hey. 
Her growths may offset you slightly as far as strength is concerned. But Nephany always seems to turn out amazing. No ma matter what. I don't know how it is. But she, ju she just does. That's it. And I'm going to be using Nephany as well. <sighs> Can't use Steel Lances right away. I'm sad now. There is a... I do... I will admit one point that I should probably bring up. I should give Kieran the Vulnerary too while I'm here. Is that... The problem with Nephany is that she's very overrated. It's argued that she is overrated. Sorry. I don't... I don't deny that. Yeah, she's good, but the fanboys for Nephany are often really out of control. And I'm not a personal fan of Nephany, but I will be using her. Because she just always seems to turn out really, really well. Now, we've got a lot of info conversation, so let's get it started. Hey there, Traveler, you have everything you need. If you stop by my humble shop, you'll find the best deals in town. What did you say? Interested? Sounds great. Listen, can I ask you a question? No problem. You can ask me anything, especially if it's about my low, low prices. What did the townspeople think of Dan? You knew that they were coming. Didn't anyone think to flee Crimea? Flee? Don't be absurd. But Crimea lost the war. Yeah, I know. And honestly, that doesn't really affect us common folk, you know? Truth is, we don't care who sits on the throne. To us, they're all just faceless beings who rule from on high. If they tried to raise taxes or something, you better believe we'd protest, but otherwise... I mean, take the King of Dane. He's just another man, right? If we keep working, he can keep living the high life. So it's not like he's gonna treat us poorly or anything. As long as we can live our lives and have a little happiness, we're not gonna worry about it all too much. Oh, but if we were invaded by Galio, that's a different story altogether. If our country were overrun by those savage beasts, who knows what could happen? Now that scares me. What's that? Hey, wait, come back! What about my low, low prices? Now what was that all about? That's a bit racist, don't you think, merchant man? Speaking of man, three stars! This is important! Speak to man. Pardon me, buddy. I haven't seen you around town before. You a traveling mercenary? Are you a reskin of a person you've already met? I actually want to say yes. But I can't put my finger on it. I think this guy's just a reskin of the first boss we fought. I don't remember. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Nice sword. You look like a man who knows his business. If you're looking for work, I have a proposition for you. Proposition? I run a vigilante group that helps keep our fair town safe. A strong man like you would be most welcome. Thanks, but I've got something lined up. Oh, really? That's too bad. Heading out to sea? Maybe. <laughs> Cautious to the end. I like that. Well, just in case you are, I want you to have this. What's this? It's a special sword. It will come in handy if you ever find yourself at sea. Not that you would. <laughs> uh, uh. Really? You're giving me a sword, are you sure? Well, there is one condition. Once you finish your job, you come back and see me. I'd like you to consider reconsider that vigilante position. Understood. Thanks again for the blade. You get a Lagoon Slayer! I should not have to explain to you how that works, but I will anyway. It deals bonus damage to Lagoon's units. If we survive this next chapter, we're gonna need it for the chapter after this one. And after that, it's just conversations with Valencia, Brom, Kieran, and Nephany now. Uh, 
I don't really care much about these conversations. <laughs> Did I skip something? Huh. Did I skip something? Oh well. Her physique. I don't need anything. What is it, man? You rescued and cared for Princess Lindsay. You have my heartfelt thanks. She is our one solitary hope. Yeah. Enough talking. Till we ma make our triumph and return to me L.E.R., all I can do is keep training. Don't pull anything. I need you for this next chapter, Kieran. I need to speak to Brom. How did that voice go again? I'll give him the voice again. Because I love doing that. What you looking at? Oh, just this. This is sort of a good luck job. My family gave it to me when I left home. We never had much money, so my parents gathered some stones from our farm back home and put them in this here leather pouch. It's not much to look at, but it means a lot to me. Every day I take them out and talk to them like they're my family. Uh, And I thought I was crazy. <laughs> How is everyone? I'm out here doing the best I can. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Just stuff like that. I know it sounds foolish, but if I don't do this, I won't... I won't have the courage to fight. Well, don't worry, because you won't be doing any fighting in my army. Don't worry about my feelings. You can laugh, acting like this at my age. What a silly man I am. It's not silly, Brom. You're a strong man who decided to fight for the sake of his family. I know that your family is very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Ak. Thank you. Not a problem. You sound like you're about to fall over. It's just the way I talk. Just talking. I can't do female voices. I'm sorry, man. It would sound so horrible. <laughs> uh, it would sound so horrible if I tried. Just trust me on that. Other than that... Do I want to award XP to anyone? Does anyone need a level? I could give him on the Volker. What the hell am I doing? Let's give Marcia the level up, I guess. Just four points. Don't suck! Damn it! I should have just let her level up naturally in the next chapter. Because I have to use her! Because I want to, actually. I'm half tempted to give Boyd another level up, but he doesn't need the damn thing, so I'm not going to. And then these are the guys that I dropped in the last chapter. Um. Let's give you a level up to Volk. Don't suck! HP, skill, and luck. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so screwed. Um. Just for laughs, let's give Boyd that level up. Not like he needs it. Why? Why are you doing this to me again? Ah! 
I think you get really shitty level ups for the manage menu. Or maybe it's just me. Whatever, next time let's play Path of Radiance. <laughs> We're gonna add more blood to the ground. Mine. See you all then.